Good morning, welcome to Quito. It's our first day, we got here last night. And this morning we've took a walk up to a hill. Just look at that view. It's incredible. This is Abby. I mean, I'm traveling with Abby through Ecuador for maybe two weeks. We're gonna be doing a lot of hiking. It's a big hiking country. And we started hiking today, really. It was, uh, it was tiring. But this view is amazing. Tomorrow we're gonna be going to the top of this mountain. I think it is. Which is like, what did he say, 4,000 meters? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a big one. Good morning. It's the next day. We're gonna climb Telferico uh, volcano or mountain. We have to get a cable car first. It takes us about halfway up, I think, and then we have to climb a thousand meters to the peak, which takes maybe five or six hours, like round trip. And from there, we get to view two active volcanoes, which should be quite cool if they're spoken, and we get a boss view of the city. So I'm just waiting for Abby. I think she's gone to the toilet, and we're gonna get on. And I get up there. So we're at the start of the trail now. We start at about 3,700 meters. And then the peak, which is just over here, is 4,700 meters. And I'll show you it now once we get away from this tree. But here's the two peaks. This one is the highest of the two. And it's about 4,700 meters. So there's a chance we might not complete this because we might get altitude sick very badly because it is above 3,000 meters. In. We no, spent... we're gonna finish. Well, yeah, hopefully we'll finish. But there's a small chance we won't because uh, we spent like two weeks uh, in Cali, which is like a thousand meters. So we aren't ready. Like we aren't adapted to this at all. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna talk to you whilst climbing this because it's so hard to talk to a camera and climb at altitude because you're already out of breath and then you're talking. So you might not get a lot of dialogue. We you get to see all the views, although it's a bit misty, it still looks amazing. And hopefully, if it's not cloudy up there, we'll see some active volcanoes. We're at the 4100 meter, well, 4200 meter mark. We've got like, I think about 500 meters to go. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good. <laughs> that, I think, is the peak there. I think we're like 40% of the way through. Abby thinks like, Look, you can not see. even close. Not even close. That's, 25. Like, that's, 20. that's the peak there. Pich oh, Pichincha? The yeah, Pichincha. To the end. Uh, to this end, yeah. Obviously, we have to go back, but, like, mm. Pichincha there. But that's, like, that's the peak, though. That one, I think, is that there. But, I mean, we only want to go to the peak. Or maybe not. If you want to go there, we can no. go there. But no, like, we may as well just go to the highest point and then come, and then come back. To go. Like, all the way back up, yeah. Like, so we may as well just go to the peak and then make our way back down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think we're nearly there. We're not too far. Like, I'd, I'd say that's about forty percent of the way. Maybe thirty. Definitely. Should we carry on, Lisa? Yes. Let's go. Let's do this. Yes. Look at this view, yeah. Like you can see the city, you can't see it all. You see a, a small fraction, but like it's just incredible. And we're above the clouds now. Well, not all of them, but above some. And in the UK, our highest mountain is like Ben Nevis, and it's like I think about thirteen hundred meters. This is going to be forty seven hundred when we peak it, and we've we've got to climb a thousand, which is not nothing I haven't done before, but I've never done a thousand meters of climbing above. 3,000 meters of altitude so it might be a real struggle when we get to the, the peak but for now I'm okay I'm dealing with it quite well we'll see I might eat me words might be famous last words and I might feel sick we might have to turn around but for now I think I'm gonna be okay I think I'm gonna do completely fine we're up to one of the steepest parts of the climb of the hike I think I don't know how much further there is to go still a little bit but if you look in the distance you can see the little orange roof over there by the big telephone poles. I think that's where we started, so we've come quite a long way. I think there's actually houses behind that that have a white roof. I think that might be where we started. So we have come, come quite far. <laughs> this, this is where the real fun begins. This is where it starts to test us. Because that is a steep, Steep peak. 
now of the 4300 mark so we've only climbed oh, like 100 meters since the last checkpoint we've still got 400 to go i think 470 exactly well not exactly but close so this this will be tough this here is probably the steepest part we've climbed so far and the only thing is on camera you can't really see steepness like it's hard like it look this will look easy for you but if i put the camera low you might be able to tell it is quite steep no it's fast yeah no no it's fast and also the ground's like really broken up so it's very slippy it's a bit of a scramble to be honest with you and then we still have that steep part to climb you're not going to be able to see this on the camera but you can try there's people right there near the summer <laughs> it looks so steep it's probably a a scramble i don't know what grade but for now it's quite flat and nice that looks tiring we're at the like the last two hour walk now i don't think it's gonna take us two hours i think that's like a very modest time i think it'll probably take us like an hour maybe an hour and a half and we come all the way around the back of the peaks to us uh, to send the the very uh, highest peak but there is another route you can climb right over the top of this and it takes like half the time so we just chose the easier path you can see loads of caves on like the side of the mountain it's kind of cool we just passed the cave actually i didn't show you but it was like a one you could go and it was only shallow I think that might be the peak there. I remember there being two peaks, this and this one that we're right next to. And that one was slightly higher. So I think we're really close, maybe 30 minutes at most. Well, we'll see. We'll probably get up there and get surprised by another peak that's like another yeah, 100 meters. Happens. Yeah, that always happens when you can't see around the mountain. But look at this view. And you can see the city, but it's not cloudy. Quito. Yeah, Quito. No gonna get a lot of the, a lot of videos like this in ecuador because there's a lot of hiking to do it is mostly just hiking really isn't it that's all <laughs> that's literally all we can party one night maybe the rest will be just lakes waterfalls mountains colombia is in my heart same i love colombia you can't move on yeah it's such a nice place i'm afraid to go back to cali <laughs> same go back to la palmera hostel yeah. Which is, which is, you will see actually, you have already seen La Palmera. Really nice place. Nice we people. Get our workout in now for two weeks. Yep, because we've done nothing for like three months except for a bit of football in Cali. Don't try to Don't try to We're at the 4500 meter mark now, we've got 200 meters left. And then we'll be at the peak, which is definitely that one. I'm convinced. This part is such a steep climb. Uh, you won't be able to see it on the video but it's the steepest part so far and it's starting to get misty but we are nearly there so we just need to keep going get there and then get down get food and then go to bed let's do it we're nearly there we're probably at like the final 100 meters, maybe another 20 minutes of climbing, but we can see Greg the peak. Is fine. I am not. But you know, we don't climb, we don't live at altitude, we don't climb at altitude. So maybe I was lucky with an altitude study I'd done in uni for like 10 weeks, but yeah, we're nearly there. She's doing well, she's doing really well. We'll be there soon. It's getting quite chilly though with all the fog. We're at the final 100 meters, 4,662. I think we got till 47.70, roughly. So we're at the final stretch. And then going down will be a lot easier. It's like all loose soil. We'll be able to just slide, we'll be able to slide down on our ass, basically. So it should be nice. 
Nice and easy. Got this view. A slide would be amazing. They should have a big slide. Yep. <laughs> a slide would be amazing. Are you going this way or this way? I'm following the people. Okay. I'm just going to come that way to you. Because I think that's the peak there. And I'm not sure if that actually takes you to the peak or not. So I'm going to come this way. You might have to go up, you know. I don't know, can you go down there? The most annoying thing is that I brought gloves to South America thinking I might need them doing a mountain. It might be cold and I haven't used them once. And then now, well, like, four and a half thousand meters, my hands are freezing the red and I left the gloves in the hostel. So that's very frustrating. But it's always the way. But now at the 10 minute point, we've got 10 minutes left of this scramble maybe about 50 meters and then we're done we're at the peak we can chill we can relax we can eat drink before making our way back down we made it to the peak of pachincha the highest peak in quito <laughs> Muy frío, mi manos. Es muy, muy frío. Muy donde se vio. Estados Unidos y Inglaterra. Inglaterra. The peak is 4,696 meters. This is the highest peak I've ever seen. The actual climb wasn't the highest climb, but it was uh, really fun. Like a hawk or a falcon or an eagle. I'm not sure what better it is. It's huge. We've been up here for like half an hour now, so we're gonna start our descent because we're really cold and we're hungry. So we're gonna go, go down, get back to the hostel. We're gonna stay another night. We weren't going to. We're gonna leave tonight, but we're gonna stay another night. And hopefully, it doesn't take us too long to get down. It's starting to rain. It's cold. It's getting wet, and we're in the clouds. We've got so far to go before we get out of them. We're gonna be so. Cold and wet, my hands are so die? red. What? Are we gonna die? We might die. We might. This might be the. You might not even see this video. This might be the last video I make. And you, Mom, whoever finds it, Dad, release it. Tommy, I love you. <laughs> Grandma, Grandpa, you too. Divok, Divok's my dog. I love you. The rest of the family, I spent 24 years with you guys. You, you know, enough time. I'm almost 22 years old. <laughs> I almost made it a couple weeks. But once we get out the clouds, it'll be all good. It'll be warmer. We won't be wet, hopefully. But you can see it's coming down really heavily, the screen. The lens is getting wet. I'm going to put it back in my pocket and I'll see you when we get out the clouds. It's literally snowing at this point. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but we can see like little white snowflakes, can't we? Like, it's cold. It's snowing, I can attest. Yeah, it's, quite, it's nice, but it's just cold and the fog is really bad. We can't, this is the way because we've seen other people going this way. But if we didn't see other people going this way, we might not have known that this was the way to go. Because it's just, it's hard to see. We're back down at the cable car. We did it, we completed Pachincha. And we can't wait to get home, get some food, get a shower, clean. I inflated hands. <laughs> Like, I'm filthy. Abby's filthy. Like, get home, get clean our stuff, get food, get a shower, and get a bed. We're gonna leave tonight, but we're gonna stay because we're soaked and we wanna eat. So we're gonna stay another night and then leave in the morning. We're back at the hostel after a long, cold, wet trip. I'm filthy and sweaty. So, I'm just get a shower. Best way to clean clothes while it's